Uh, good morning, everybody. I think uh, it's still five minutes more uh, to be afternoon. So good morning, everybody. And uh, in this uh, short presentation, I would like to uh, give a global snapshot how cadaster and land administration systems uh, have evolved in, uh, in, in various countries. And uh, to give the context, uh, this is the kind of agenda I'm uh, going forward today. The global economic crisis. We have seen this in 2008. And, and uh, all of us know there is a deep connection between land and the crisis itself. And how uh, the world uh, has gone into a spiral in terms of uh, I mean, negative growth rates, in terms of high debts, in terms of high unemployment rates everywhere across the world. But what has evolved after this? There are certain demographic and certain uh, uh, trends that have evolved after uh, the economic crisis. One is that of less developed regions, which are characterized with very high population growth, as you see from this graph, and a very high uh, even uh, GDP uh, growth rates, well, the more developed nation, as we know, of the Western Europe or North America, these kind of regions have been characterized and are going slowly uh, in terms of the population, in terms of their economic growth, etc. So if this is the kind of uh, the real GDP growth that uh, these two segments that we are seeing, uh, one is the emerging markets, where the markets are very high, are very highly volatile, but at the same time, the growth, are, growth rates are very high also. But the developed markets, which have been uh, growing at a very small pace, where the volatility is less, but the growth rate is pretty low. And it is expected, uh, that over a period of 10 years, these two segments, which are growing at different rates at this point in time, will somehow, uh, will at some point come together and contribute equally to, uh, to the world economy. Why I'm broaching about the world economy? Because we know that there is a very deep connection between how countries organize their land and which it directly contributes to the economic development of the country. If you take, I'm, I'm quoting here uh, a prop, International Property Rights Index. This is world's first uh, study, a comparative study at the international level. It compares uh, the physical and intellectual property rights of 130 countries in across the world and tries to bring out, rate them, how uh, these countries have very well organized or unorganized land management systems and what is the direct relationship between, uh, the, uh, between the, their economies. The 2012 rankings of the International Property Rights Index presents this, this kind of a scenario where the more developed nations, uh, the regions like North America, Western Europe, Central and Eastern Europe, and Central Asia, they rank 1, 2, and 3. Asia and Oceania as 4. And the Middle East and North Africa, Latin America and Caribbean and Africa, these form at the lower chunk of the rating. Well, well this presents a clear-cut case that the world, in fact, is moving at a two-speed world, whether it is the GDPs, whether it's a population, whether it is even land administration systems. So my objective and my uh, effort has been to understand how these two regions have been different in organizing their land administration systems. If you see the more developed nations like uh, Canada, North America, Western Europe, most of these countries, uh, they were the very early adapters of technology. They have started organizing their land almost like 150, 200 years ago. But if you see the less developed nations or the emerging nations, they, it has been a recent phenomena for them. They uh, almost like only around 40 to 50 years back, they have started uh, realizing the importance of land and the ne necessity to reorganize it. While uh, being the early adopters, the more developed nations have very evolved and mature systems in place 
well the less developed nations